What's up, guys? What a crazy day yesterday with the Charlotte Hornets trading Terry Rozier to the Miami Heat for Cal Lowry in a first-round draft pick. But besides that, we also saw the Milwaukee Bucks fire their head coach in Adrian Griffin. Even though the team has a record of 30-13, and 13, they are winning, but that is not enough. They want to be a championship contender. We're also going to talk about the Chicago Bulls and if it's time to trade DeMar DeRozan. All that after the intro. Give me the hot sauce, Bob! Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. Welcome back, guys, to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button so you join the family and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And with that, let's get right into it. Even though the Milwaukee Bucks have a 30 and 13 record, they decided that because Adrian Griffin most likely has lost the locker room, they are moving forward and getting Doc Rivers to coach this team and the funny part of it is Doc Rivers was actually consulting for the Bucks. he was helping Adrian Griffin get his feet under him while coaching this team and then took his job but the thing about that is you got to see that the Milwaukee Bucks team did not trust Adrian Griffin you can see that Bobby Portis was complaining other players were complaining the other day we saw Giannis drawing up a play for the team in the timeout Giannis should not be drawing up plays for your team. That is your coach's job, and that shows that they did not have faith in what Adrian Griffin could do. And I know he's a first-time coach, but hey, that's what happens. If the team doesn't trust you, if the star doesn't trust you, you got to move on. And what happened is they went and got them a bona fide championship coach. Doc Rivers is a coach with history in this league. He's coached superstars, and he's won a championship, which brings a pedigree that's going to make the Milwaukee Bucks listen to what he has to say. And he's one of those coaches who also focuses on the defensive end. So if he can focus on getting the Milwaukee Bucks to play defense, and they can add defense to their already scary offense, they are truly a championship contending team and with that I hope to see that he starts to use Dame and Giannis in the pick and roll okay so far the Bucks have had the easiest strength of schedule throughout the beginning of the year and from here on out they will have the hardest strength of schedule and that means they have to start to play consistent they can't trust that they're just going to win because of Giannis and Dame's talent he needs to start using that pick and roll getting Dame getting Giannis to work together because honestly the two of them together in the pick and roll is a scary sight you got to decide who to guard if you step up on Dame Giannis is open if you go to guard Giannis Dame is open and honestly even if you get both of them covered you still got Bobby Portis in the corner you still got Brooke Lopez you still got shooters on that team that are going to make shots and get points on the board and that's something that makes the Milwaukee Bucks like we said a true championship contender and that begs the question what is the Chicago Bulls doing so far we're seeing everyone else make moves to try to be a better team right through the offseason Throughout the beginning of the season, now towards the trade deadline, teams are making moves. And the Chicago Bulls are sitting back. They're just watching the league, trying to figure out what's happening. And that's something that, as a Bulls fan, is a little bit scary. Because if I hear we are waiting on continuity one goddamn time, I do not want continuity. What I want is to make a move. It can be a small move. It can be the tiniest of tiniest moves. I don't care. Do something. Right. Even if it takes you half a step forward, do not sit here and do nothing, especially after all we've heard is talks about Zach Levine, Alex Caruso, DeMar DeRozan, all these players who might be traded. And at this point now, it seems like DeMar might be the one who gets traded. And that's going to take me to my next point. Is DeMar DeRozan going to be the one who is traded before Zach Levine? From what we're seeing, Zach Levine is once again injured. He hasn't looked the best this year, and his trade value has plummeted to a point where now we keep hearing how there's no trade market for Zach Levine. People are going to trade for other players before they trade for Zach Levine, and that begs the question, should we be focusing now instead of trading Zach, because I know the front office said they want to trade him first, should our focus turn to trading DeMar DeRozan while the iron is hot? Right, DeMar's been playing good. He showed he could fit in with any type of basketball team. And that's something that a lot of the teams right now that are seeing Charlotte make a move, that are seeing the Heat make a move, that are seeing Memphis make a move, that are seeing you know Milwaukee make a move. Now other teams are saying, hey, maybe we need to do something to make sure that we have a chance of winning a title. Right. And if you know you are close 
and right on the edge of being a contender. Adding a DeMar DeRozan type player is definitely something that will take you over the edge, especially the way he's been playing. So if we trade DeMar DeRozan, does that mean we keep Zach Levine? I don't think it does. I think he still wants out of this team. I think the Bulls might want to try to see if they can keep him, but it seems like Zach has officially said he's done with the Bulls. DeMar DeRozan looks like he's having trouble with contract extension, so it's going to come down to who do you trade. But regardless of what happens, trade someone before this damn trade deadline. Make a move, AK. Do something. Get us Bulls fans excited about basketball. And if anything, do something to build this team around Kobe White because you're not going to get back the same amount of talent for DeMar or Zach Levine if you do trade them. With that, what I want to do is I want to hear from you guys. So let me know down below. Do you think we should trade DeMar DeRozan before we trade Zach Levine? Is that the smart move or should we wait and see if we can get more out of the two of them if we trade Zach first. Comment that down below. And also let me know what you think about the Giannis deal with him getting his coach fired and getting Doc Rivers as the coach. And last but not least, if you guys are rocking with the videos, if you've been enjoying everything, please make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and share this video with a friend. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. And the more people who join, the more I get to make these videos for you guys. I hope you all have a great day. We'll probably drop a video tomorrow with the game that's coming up. Talk to you soon. Peace.